Okay. 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 Uh, uh, all right. You know. Okay. <laughs> so I don't. I don't know how this how this thing usually starts. I'm. I'm kind of. I'm kind of nervous about it. I want to pull up the card lists for Maximum Gold and Blazing Vortex because I want. I actually want to know. Like I actually want to know what. Um, nice. Thank you for for liking the stream. I actually want to know what we're gonna get and what like rarity it's gonna be. Okay. So in the Blazing Vortex. Oh, there's a bunch. Secret rare. Oh, it's a Starlight rare. <gasps> okay. So there's. It looks like. It looks like there's a lot. Oh wow! It looks like there's a lot. Um. Also. I pre-ordered the Yu-Gi-Oh! Ghosts of the Past box. So if this goes over well and I get some good ones and, you know, people enjoy it, uh, then I might just, uh, I might just put it up, um, put it up, put this up on YouTube, at least this little portion of it, and then uh, open up that box, open up the box for the rest of y'all. Um, but without further ado. I love that sound. It just brings me back to my childhood. And my my dad would come home from his job. He would just have a plastic bag. And it would just be like weighed down. And I would know exactly. Bring home card sleeves. He'd bring home three ring binders. And he'd bring home three boxes of these. And we would just, after dinner, we would sit down as a family. We'd shuffle them around. We'd divvy them up. And then we would just, we'd pass them out. And we'd open them up all this one ah and then of course my mother would file them away in her three ring binder i would try to like fit them in the deck and duel with them my dad would try to duel with them but eventually get frustrated but <laughs> which is you know I, at this point i'm in the same boat because with all the link monsters there's synchro monsters exes monsters link monsters pendulum monsters and that's already on top of fusion normal effect ritual <laughs> Like, there's so many, but here we go. I don't know. We're just, I'm just going to open up the card pack. I'm going to flip it so that it's the back facing me, and then I'm just going to part of the cards it. I'm going to draw it. So, let's see here. Squeaky. Squeakier than I, than I remember. First, first card. First card. Fresh. Fresh pack. Radiant. Varescence? try try some of that no it's not it's focusing on my face here come on cover my face there it is and it's gone there it is card arch fiend's staff of despair i could double camera a few moments later i don't remember my password and not not doing it right now so Next card, Tri Brigade Rendezvous. Focus on the card there. Stairway to a Fabled Realm. I don't, I don't know if any of these cards are really worth anything. I have a feeling this is the rare. Constellar Caduceus. Gorgeous. So this is the one in here that is the shiny one. Constellar Caduceus is a super rare. I'll have to look up its uh, its full worth on TCG Player. Do that in a second. Next card down. Guitar Gunnards Duo Negus. Like they're fish people? Like they're seahorses or something? I don't know. Next one. Fabled Marcosia. Like a bird person from Legend of Zelda or something. Without the feathers. Then we got Icy Breeze Refrain, a trap card. Very nice. And we've got Brigands Franga. That is. Here we go. Not my face. Not my face. Not my face. So some, I think some good cards. Um, let's let's pop on over to T. Constellar Caduceus. Super rare. Near mint first edition. Uh, six cents. So, 
you're paying you're paying more on the shipping for the card uh than the card itself. <laughs> Let's just get back into it, shall we? Maximum gold. What we got? Ooh, shiny. Ooh, shiny. For some reason, it's just a black screen on my end. I try to load it up, and it's just, just a complete black screen. Oh wow, this is a this is a nice box. It's gonna be half empty, <laughs> stuffed with cardboard. But hey, a nice box. How do you, how? Okay, I just want what's inside. How do I get what's in the back? How do I? I'm just tearing apart the box now. Hope it was the collector's box. <laughs> All right. First pack. Maximum gold right here. I apologize about the coloration of the screen. I have to turn off my light that I have uh, if I want the cards to be visible. And otherwise, we have just this yellow light in the house. Ooh. I will say, I don't know my odds. They were all purchased at a mire. So, take that as you will. Here we go. First card, maximum gold. DD Warrior Lady. I know that one. I know that one. That's a good one. Got gold lettering. So, that's one. Seven? There's seven cards in each of these packs? I'll take it. I'll take it. Next one. Ah, Barrier Statue of the Abyss. Oh, this one, too. I have a feeling these are going to be all older school cards. I don't mind. It's kind of my favorite era. Like Yu-Gi-Oh, Yu-Gi-Oh, GX. Like, those those times, those are my absolute favorite. All right. Um. Well, okay. I shouldn't get too excited. It's called Maximum Gold. But this card is literally lined in gold. Ghost Sister and Spooky Dogwood. So I'm I'm going to look at because wow. <laughs> spooky Ghost Sister and Spooky. Okay. We have M A G O E N Z. Okay. Ours is only worth about seventy seven cents. But hey, that still looks gorgeous. I mean look at that. How can you say no to that comment? I don't even know where the other cards went. Oh, <laughs> it doesn't matter. I got that one. All right. So what's our other cards here? Transcode Talker. This one is a uh, a Link monster. For those that don't know, the Link stuff is difficult to explain, and I still don't understand it. Oh, we got another one. Nurse Dragon Maid. Another lined in gold card. Very nice. Nurse Dragon Maid. I should probably share this screen, huh? Market price for this one is a dollar twenty-one, so that's not bad. We're we're doing all right. Gear Giant X. This is an Xyz monster. I don't know if you can actually. Oh, there it is. Nice. And our last one is Mech Knight with two Ks. M E K K K N I G H T of the Morning Star. Almost had it. There it is. All right, we got absolutely beautiful looking cards, and they're. I feel like I don't want to I don't necessarily want to touch the card too much just with my finger but just like sliding my finger just barely over the card it feels like the gold edges are raised. So that's pretty cool. I'm excited to open another pack now. Ooh. Such a nice feeling. Well, since I don't know like which direction the cards like where the rares are. Oh well. Just go from the back up like we've been doing. Storming Mirror Force. We'll return all your opponent's deck. Ooh, that's a good one. Focus. Focus. Oh, ho, ho. we have a gold-lined red eyes black dragon. Wow. That is gorgeous. <laughs> I think I know who I'm giving that to. Biggest Joey fan I know. Barrier Statue of the Storm Winds is our next card. Statue of the Number 74, Master of Blades. I don't know much about the Xyz. I feel like I should watch the animes, but like, GX was just so good. 
and there's like there's like nothing better. That's that's not necessarily true. Oh, another Xyz monster, Cyber Dragon Infinity. This one is another one of those gold lined cards. Ooh, that's a good angle. Yeah. So beautiful. <laughs> Uh, barrier statue of the inferno. Hey, we have two barrier statues. Nice. Bring the lettering. Almost. We got Union Hanger. The spell card. Nice. We got Cyber Dragon Infinity and a Red Eyes Black Dragon. Well, let's look up the Red Eyes Black Dragon. Oh, snap. The Red Eyes Black Dragon is is a rare one. Its market price right now on TCG Player is five dollars fifty five cents. <laughs> nice. I, the, it's it's absolutely gorgeous. I want to move me over here, shrink my window just a little bit, and I'm gonna add. What am I gonna add? <laughs> we're just gonna have we're just gonna have that up in the background. Okay, so then we need to look up what was it. Cyber Dragon Infant Oversized. There's an oversized one. We are M A G O. Market price for that one's a dollar fifty one. That's not bad. That's not bad. Just in that one pack, two very good cards. Two very valuable cards. This is very nice. Nice. I'm f I'm feeling it. I'm pumped now. Let's go. Let's open some more. This is a, this is gonna be a sick obsession. I'm gonna. Go to PCG player and ordered like seven boxes of booster packs and bankrupt my family. <laughs> All for the gram. Gotta do it for that poll. <laughs> I'm kidding. Third pack. Only one more to go after this. I'm nervous. Hands, hands sweaty, knees weak, palms spaghetti. That's the phrase, right? First card. <sighs> Mage power. L card. Very simple. It's an equip card. The equip monster gains 500 attack and defense for each spell or trap you can. That's not bad. I mean, as far as like as far as like cards go, as far as of their usefulness that I'm aware of, you know, that's useful, especially if you're like a heavy spell or trap player or if you're setting a lot of stuff. I I think that even means that spell or trap card you control. So that that has to mean spell or trap cards that you have set as well. So if you set like four and then play that as your fifth, one, you have to be playing the long game because like, why would you set that many in a turn? Then if you play that and then equip it to a monster, that should, because you technically control those cards. Ah, semantics. Second card. Brotherhood of the Fire Fist, Buffalo. Get the left. And monster that's pretty cool okay here is our first gold line card roll and lock bird let's just go right to looking it up Droll and lock okay this is the droll and lock bird alternate art uh this card alone is worth market price eight dollars 77 cents <laughs> so that's that's pretty cool anybody looking for a droll and locker <laughs> I promise my hands are washed my hands are clean i actually just went to the store and bought these so they're probably the as clean as they've been all day and i even got my my first uh first shot of covid well first shot of covid vaccine <laughs> all right oh hey our first double but unfortunately it is ghost sister and spooky dogwood uh it's one of our gold lined cards that we've already gotten but I ain't sweating it, man. We found a card. We found a almost nine dollar card. I was I was going through all of my other Yu-Gi-Oh cards the other day, and I was like, well, I wonder what any of these are worth. And I started looking through all of like the hollow ones and all of that, and I found a couple that were worth like ten or twenty bucks. I have, I will say, it is it has been lovingly used. Um, I have an Exodia. Like not all of the pieces. I have the main card, the head. Exodia the Forbidden One, uh, and I have the left arm and the left leg. And I looked it up, and obviously the full set is worth the most, but just the Exodia card by itself is like 13 bucks or something. Like, it's still that expensive, and it was one of the most sought-after cards that I remember as a child. Like, I'm, you know, I love getting back into hobbies that I got, that I, like, dropped as a kid. I didn't actually drop this one. Like, I didn't really drop Yu-Gi-Oh! 
I still kind of collected. Like, I still opened them, and I was like, oh, yeah, these are all oh, these cool looking. Or, like, oh, I really want the elemental heroes. I haven't really done anything with them. And I feel like now I'm going to do something with them. Next card Fire Formation Gyo Gyoko Gyoko Gyoku. B Y O K K O U. If anyone could tell me how to say that. Synchron Carrier. Is this a tuner? Oh, no, it's, an, it's just a machine. Synchron Carrier. Our last card. Trade in. Spell card. Discard one level eight monster. Draw two cards. Buddy. I am looking forward to this pack right here. I'll tell you what. <laughs> I tell you what. I honestly can't believe. I mean... I will say, Droll and Lockbird, there are other cards that are more expensive. Droll and Lockbird from the OTS tournament pack number eight, that one is worth $100. At the same time, I don't, I don't think anyone, like, I don't think the OTS tournament pack number eight is in circulation anymore. So some of these cards are, I, like, obviously no chance of getting. But, last pack. pack I'm nervous. Nervous. Dark Lord Nastin. Ooh, he Nastin. <laughs> you mean that Dark Lord? He Nastin. Oh, hey Ma. Remember that thing we used to do when, when <laughs> I was a kid? I'm doing it again. <laughs> and this time I'm actually like assessing the worth. So far I found a card worth $10. Beautiful. Beautiful. Next card. Dark Lord Rebellion. Ooh. I have a feeling this is going to be a uh, maybe a Dark Lord heavy pa heavy pack. I don't know. A gold line Dark Lord in here. The Infernity Mirage. Yes, I'm saying that correctly. Its name is Infernity Mirage. That is super cool. Infern Mirage. So that one's not worth much. It's only worth about market price 24 cents. With this good a condition, you know, it can it can go for the max because this is this is literally fresh out of the pack, touched once. I'm not I, I plan on putting the valuable cards or like the the gold lined cards and, and shimmery cards and whatnot. I plan on putting those in some sort of protectors. The other ones I will put in protectors as well. I do plan on kind of filing them away and, and possibly using them. But of course with protectors and everything. Let's draw our next. Dark Lord Morning Star. I may I may have been correct in saying <laughs> this is a Dark Lord heavy pack. So Dark Lord Morning Star. I don't know if he's really worth much because he does he just has the gold lettering. But he's got a cool name. We'll look him up. Dark Lord Morning Star. Twenty three cents. Okay. So yeah, not much. I I figured. Arpy's Feather Duster. Destroy all spell and trap cards your opponent controls. Classic card. Classic card. Anyone who knows the original anime knows Harpy's Feather Duster. My Valentine versus Joey Wheeler was one of the best matches of all time. The whole turn the tables on her with the time wizard that Joey did. I mean, granted, it was kind of... It was very heavy, heavily handed to him by Yugi, but still one of the best. <laughs> Uh, ten dollars sixty two cents. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can pay me ten bucks for it. <laughs> you can also pay me. I think it was eight bucks for the red eyes black jack because I know you want that one as well. <laughs> That's that is nuts. Okay, not a bad get. Honestly, with all of the cards that we have here today, I think I've I got my money back. I spent thirty one dollars on the pack, and I've pulled at least three cards that are worth just about ten dollars. So with the rest of them in like a bulk type purchase, I one hundred percent have just made my money back. That's awesome. That's awesome. Next card. There can be only one. There can be only one Highlander. Last card. Last card of the night, and we'll look it up just for funsy. Necro Valley Throne. Help if I spelled Necro Valley correct. 
All right, 28 cents. Woo! Okay. So let's look some of this stuff up. Um, and we're gonna go. We're gonna go market price. So Harpy's Feather Duster. Where's my calculator? There it is. 1062 plus Droll and Lockbird. Well, Infernity Mage is 24 cents. We'll at least put her off to the side. 24 cents plus Droll and Lockbird. 8.77. See, it says as, as low as nine dollars twenty-four cents. But I, I said that I was going to go with the market price, so eight seven seven. But I know that I could probably squeeze more out of these if I if I really really wanted to. Cyber Dragon is a dollar eighty four. The Red Eyes Black Dragon was five dollars fifty five cents. Nurse Dragon Maid dollar twenty one. And Ghost Sister and alternate art. That's right. I have both. I have both versions of the Ghost Sister and Spooky Dogwood. I have the, the alternate art and the regular art. So one is 77 cents and the other is 70 cents. So if I take the rest and how many cards is this? So probably about two dollars out of the about 10 cents a card just about for these for about two dollars that's 31 dollars and 70 cents i've made my money back wow 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 that's so cool okay so i will say me doing this um is not originally my idea like like pulling the cards and finding their worth originally i just wanted to pull the cards and be like oh these are super cool but um there's a youtube channel called team aps I want to I want to shout them out and I want to point this directly to them because they have a series called Larry in the Hole where um dude goes to um like Targets and Myers and Barnes and Noble and stuff like that and he goes and he purchases these um he purchases basically booster packs and and things like this like things that I just did here and he opens them and he tries to calculate them um, like he calculates exactly how much, like not exactly, but just about how much they're worth. And he sees whether or not he's in the hole or whether he's made a profit. So I, I figured with the maximum gold box, it would be a fun idea to see what we could do and what we could make on it. And I mean, I'm, I'm kind of, I'm flabbergasted that I've made my money back. Like that my first like box pull like this, I'm, I'm not in the hole. I'm, I'm. Technically, I'm not in the hole. I mean, minus taxes. I guess I would have had to pay taxes on the uh, thirty ninety nine that the box was worth or whatever, like whatever I paid for it. So I, I'm out the taxes, but oh well. Like <laughs> I'm still that's still incredible. Not to mention, I mean, the other card pack that one that one was four forty nine, and this one I did not. This pack I did not make really anything off of. Constella Caduceus is is just not. High demand card, not a good card. I don't know. I'm not entirely sure, but all I know is I had fun doing this, and for sure, when Ghosts of the Past, when that box comes in, I am opening that on stream, and I'm going to revel. That was absolutely incredible. I need just about a minute or so to set up for what we're going to be doing next. We're actually going to hopping into some binding of isaac um i have been watching northern lion play binding of isaac for a while now uh tenu kaido the mod in here um i don't know if he's actually in here if he is you know hey hi um he uh he actually turned me on to northern lion and i started watching him and his binding of isaac playthroughs uh and i've been i've been loving it so Obviously, I've been, I've played Binding of Isaac on this channel before. Um, just kind of wanted to give a shout out to him as well for inspiring this. So, like I said, I'm gonna put up my little uh, be right back screen or whatnot. I'm gonna load up Binding of Isaac. Um, just give me a few minutes, and we'll be back at it. 